great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the UAB Blazers and the Rice Owls. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I tell you what, it looks like a David versus Goliath, baby, but you never know. Could be upset City if they protect the basketball. You know what? I think it's essential they control the tempo of the game. The Owls are assured of a tough battle tonight, Dick. What's uh, the key for them to succeed? Here's what I think, Brad. First of all, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Second of all, take care of the basketball. Turnovers can really kill any rhythm offensively. And lastly, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vital. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. The ball goes out of play. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. McCray receives the ball. Ten on the shot clock. Thinks about the shot. He wants a three. He gets it to go. Here's one for the highlight reel. One on the shot clock. Both teams looking to get things going here. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. He shoots from the top of the key. He hits it. There's a high screen. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Down inside. Controlling the ball. Looking for the foul. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. On the outside, McCray handles the pass. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He's going nowhere. Going Ball's nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Trying to feed the low block. Defense is right up on him. Not giving any open looks. High post screen. UAB have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Leans in. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. It'll be interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, a good post play because the foot excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing the ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. He bombs from outside. He gets the shot to fall. Oh, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Dick, about a medium-sized crowd tonight. I'll tell you one thing. You don't get a big edge as a home team. 
at the foul line. Sinks it. Second shot is no good. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Now they work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Hit the replay button on that one. Goes out of bounds. Nick, I don't know if the glass is half empty or half full, but it's about half full in here. Yeah, it's about half full right now. That doesn't give you that emotional setting that you like as a home court. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He throws it up from downtown. Now trying to feed the low block. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I got a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. The point guard handles the feed. English pounded on his way up. He goes to the line for the first time. Gets the first shot. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. MBN. On the outside. The center receives the pass. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. And the ball goes out of bounds. They go into the low block. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. Gave it up. He takes the shot from the baseline. It sticks. The skip pass is picked off. High post flashes. Takes the pass in the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from left of the circle. He gets the bucket to fall. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. There's a bad pass right to the defender. And a momentary look from three-point land. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's getting it done out there, Brad. They'd be in trouble without him. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Contact causes the shot to come off. Stolen away. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Oh, I... Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Up and inside. In the paint. And they get the turnover. Gave it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn.
from three-point territory. Sinks it. On the dribble, gives it up. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Look at that. Defense giving some room. Puts it up, looking for contact. Can't get the shot to go. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Looking for a good shot. He's open if he wants the shot. Jumps into the defender. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Up fake. Jump hook from the low post. UAB are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they ought to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. On the dribble, gives it up. Adkins, pump fakes. Has the screen up on top. For two, knocks it down. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribbler. And he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. On the outside. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. There's the pick. There's the roll. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. The Blazers will step to the line for the first time. Got it from the free throw line. Misses the second. Goes and gets it. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. Then, young man, he wants everyone on their feet. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in a foul. If you're going for the steal, you better get it. If not, this is exactly what happens. Gotta love these kids, Dick. They weren't supposed to be in this ball game, and they came in very well prepared. They're playing well. I'll tell you, Brian, I think a lot of it's due to the fact they came out and played with a lot of passion and a lot of confidence. They're not intimidated at all by the favor. Rice is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. There's the fake. With a little baby hook. That's a great shot. I, I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. He uses the shot fake. There's the trap. 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Shannon is animated and ready to go. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Let's it fly. He hits the shot. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tougher than I am the ball. Gave it up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. He looks for three. Makes it. Dickey's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Nice shot. For two. And he missed. Tries to get the D to bite. And he'll kick it back outside. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. He shoots from the top of the key. He drains the bucket. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries one from three-point land. He shows the sweet touch. Working it around the perimeter. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. That's good. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. He shoots from the top of the circle. Got it. They work it around the perimeter. Has a nice look at the basket. The kick out. He shoots from the top of the key. No good. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Moving it around the perimeter. On the outside. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Top of the circle. Way off target. Intercepted. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Had a momentary look from three-point land. There's the pick. He fires it up. Off the rim and no good. He lets it go. UAB are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Gave it up. He attempts the trifecta. He drains it. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Here's a double team. High post screen. 
so effective that screen. This is simply a great play, Brad. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Got an open look if he wants it. Pull-up jumper from way out. They'll work it around the arc. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Takes away the pass. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Steal. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Looking for a good shot. He launches a three. It's good. Dump it inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I tell you, great spin move to the basket. Working it around the perimeter. Sets the screen for his teammate. On the outside. Look at that spacing. Nice high post screen. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He steps up to the line. Gets the first. Second one is no good. Jump hook from the low post and off the mark. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Here's the three ball. Oh, yes. Watch this again. Three. Up and inside. Picked off. Attempts the Hail Mary. Shots off the mark. At the end of the first half, the Owls are down by eight. Dick, we've got a close one here tonight, my friend. Give us your highlight of the night so far. My highlight, Brad, has to be the great work in the paint so far. It'll be interesting to see who keeps it up in the next half. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds. Rice seemed to have caught the turnover bug in that first half, Dick. And that was big, and it bit him hard. You can't put points on a board if you turn the ball over. They better hope it doesn't come back to haunt them. 
Dick, you started looking at this when you were a coach and you were down this big at halftime. <laughs> what are you thinking? Let's get out of here? I'll tell you what, David has really had a tough time against the Goliath. They have done a great job at Goliath coming out mentally focused and ready to perform. Gave it up. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I got defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Jumped in front to take it away. Here they go into transition. Goes up for two. In and out. Looking for a good shot. He intercepts it. They work the perimeter. For two. Doesn't go. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. They move it into the front court. Great play to take that to the basket. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He blows the inside hoop off that set screen. Gives it up. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Fakes a jumper for the bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. You see, that's what happens when you go for the steal. You end up with unnecessary personal fouls. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He can't keep going for those steals. It's really hurting his team right now. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. The move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dude. He's out of control, baby. Out of control. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Job defensively, they just won't get blocks the shot, and the ball goes out of play. Excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. I think they're trying to make a statement. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Tries for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score.
Looking for a good shot. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Now they work it around the perimeter. Dump it inside. He takes the shot. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. Launches the three. Off the rim and no good. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Dumps it in. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. They work the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. He drains the shot. <laughs> On the outside. Got the high pick. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. The Blazers are ahead by five. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. It's stolen. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. Steals a pass. Two. And he missed. Trying to draw the foul. He buries it. Up and inside. For the bucket. He missed the easy bucket inside off the screen. Looking for a good shot. Trying to draw some contact. He puts it in with contact and all. From right of the circle, goes. He shoots from left of the circle, way off target. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chilled. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. Look at that spacing. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. High post screen. Tries for two. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Working it around the perimeter. Pump fakes. Set that screen away. For two. Perfectly executed. On the outside. 
There's the pick. There's the roll. In and out. He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big play. Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's stick. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. Going to the line. He hits it. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. And a momentary look from three-point land. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Moving it around the perimeter. Fakes the shot. Gave it up. He tries the three. Sinks the shot. Looks at a three. He buries the shot. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Takes the pass in the paint. The lay -in. Jumps in, and he scores despite the hack. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Looking for the foul. UAB are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. the perimeter all right let's check in third member of our team again here's Aaron Andrews well Brad during halftime both coaches told me they were somewhat surprised this game was so close but they both emphasized they need to cut down on turnovers here in the second half all right thanks Aaron Shoots. There was no doubt about that one. Fires away. That was nice. On the dribble, gives it up. And now they'll bring it up. Gave it up for three. Got it. On the dribble, gives it up. 
Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Strips the ball. They work it back to the outside. Too physical. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. There's a double team waiting there. Is this home court advantage or what? This one is shaping up to be a barn burner, Dick. You're going to love these close ones, Brad. Every error is magnified and could be the difference between a win or a loss. He gets the shot to fall. That's seven unanswered. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. McCray handles the feed. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Gets it back out. Adkin receives the ball. He rejects it. Kicks it out. The point guard with the ball. He makes the block. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Rice are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. He misses the second. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. Jump hook from the low post. I'll tell you, great shot. I, I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Hard foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Now they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. That's good. Working it around the perimeter. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Double team now, bad angle. It's stolen. It's a fast break possibility. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Look at that spacing. Great defense. He may be in trouble here. Here's a nice, he gets the rejection. They're working around the perimeter. 
On the dribble, gives it up. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. On the outside, the shooting guard receives the pass. High post screen, going to use it. Off the rim and no good. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Rims out. They work the perimeter. The shooting guard takes the feed. Goes up for two. UAB have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Just about ready for a play to resume. He shoots from the top of the circle. He gets the bucket. There's that pressure on that basketball. Dump it inside. Gave it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. They work it around the perimeter. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. Ten seconds on the clock. On the dribble, gives it up. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Shot clock goes off. Yeah, Brad, the defense had him locked down that time. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Six points separating these two squads. This is no time to get complacent, Brad. He shoots from left of the circle. That was nice. Pushes it. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Now the high screen. The power forward takes the pass. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Well, Dick, it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. And the clock stopped with a foul. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. At the line. Hits that one. No doubt. If they want a chance to win, they really need a bucket here. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference. Guys? All right. Thanks, Aaron. Sometimes timeouts can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here. Looking for a good shot. He puts up the tray. Off the rim and no good. Foul, and that stops the clock again. He'll go to the line. He can't buy one. 
The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just aren't knocking them down. I tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. He shoots from downtown. Rims out. The point guard gets the ball. Dick, we expected them to win. They did win. They've been impressive all year long, and they just keep rolling along. I'll tell you one thing. They're so well coached. They're really prepared, and they understand each other. They know who their short players are, should be shooting the ball, and those that are liability. Rice loses in this very well-matched game. You know, they really showed what they were made of and can come away from this game with a moral victory. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.